All right, and we are live and good evening, everybody. And welcome to our Thursday evening wellness webinar, Staying Healthy in Stressful Times. This is our weekly Thursday wellness focused webinar focused on health, community, and movement. And uh, we're really happy to see everybody here, both on Zoom and also over on Facebook. We have a big crowd who's just joining us and uh, see everybody logging on here. So why don't you go ahead and tell me who you are and where you are joining us from tonight. And I'm gonna start reading out some names. Just type them right in the Q&A. So we have Blaze. Blaze has been, I think, at every one. We're very happy, Blaze, to see you from the Upper West Side. We have Lou. Lou's also been, I think, at every one. Lou's over in New Jersey. Um, Arthur is uh, joining us from DC and Helen from the Upper West Side. We have Karen Foley from New Jersey and we have uh, Hadley Chapman. The Chapmans are joining from Westchester and Chris from the Upper East Side. We have Maria from the Upper East Side. We have Anna coming from Hoboken and Dr. Daphne Scott from the Upper East Side of New York City. We have Rick Soloway uh, joining um, from New York. We have Denise from Washington Heights and Tan Tanis from um, New Jersey. We have Lauren uh, from New Jersey. She says she's really from Chelsea, but she's quarantining in New Jersey. Thank you for, uh, for really qualifying that for us. We have Dan from the Upper East Side. Lily. I'm really happy so many of you are able to join us on these Thursday programs. And so the goal of tonight is to really focus on wellness and the many facets of wellness when we start thinking about making sure everybody's staying healthy in this really stressful time in everybody's life. And it doesn't matter who you are and where you are. This is a, a very stressful time. And so thinking about keeping yourself healthy and well is a, is a big piece of what we want to think about in this program. So this week is a week of many changes. Each week I'm gonna try and go through and uh, talk about some of the different changes. And so this week um, we saw really the ramp up of uh, many of the things happening on the medical side. Um, the main campus of Hospital for Special Surgery has been really helping with the overflow from Cornell um, and Cornell Medical Center seeing huge numbers of COVID patients uh, in different levels of acuity. And our teams at HSS are in the main hospital are helping to offload and take care of a number of these COVID patients. And then simultaneously, um, our hospital is the world's biggest in orthopedics and rheumatology and all musculoskeletal related issues. And so partially at the main campus and then of our different um, satellite offices in New Jersey and in uh, Stanford, Connecticut and on the Upper East Side and uh, in different locations, we are trying to keep people out of the emergency room. So we're kind of spread out in very different places trying to keep all of our patients and patients with orthopedic issues out of the emergency room. This is I think, some examples of some of our great staff. This is Dr. Daphne Scott, who is uh, watching tonight. And Daphne, normally this time of year, would be sitting on the sideline at the Westchester Knicks uh, basketball game, um, being a sports medicine doctor and great colleague. But here she is getting ready to go work, um, taking care of uh, patients in uh, one of the ICU units. This is a whole group of some of our orthopedic surgeons and uh, medical doctors who are teaming up to run the floors and to start and to help take care of these patients and really think about uh, doing that um, just in a really mindful and compassionate way. This is a couple more of our doctors, Dr. Brett Torresdahl, who is again a, a colleague in sports medicine, who is the head of our research program, works with US biathlon. So normally he would be doing those kind of things. Here he is with his ski goggles, getting ready to go into the ICU. And Dr. Andrew Pearl, Andy Pearl is the head of our sports medicine uh, service and sports medicine institute. Um, he's an orthopedic surgeon that normally would be doing uh, ACL replacements, reconstructions and, and knee replacements and the like. And here he is getting ready to go into the ICU taking care of these kind of issues as well. And on the outpatient side, where I'm currently based up in Stanford, Connecticut, um, we are taking care of things. So this was me yesterday getting ready to go take care of 
of a kid with a broken leg. Um, and normally I would be high-fiving somebody with a broken leg and, and giving them a hug and saying, feel better. And, and now we are you know, very much uh, trying to protect ourselves and um, protect our patients. Um, and so it's a very different era. And then a lot of us are doing this. So three and a half weeks ago, none of the doctors or very few of the doctors at HSS were on telemedicine. This is me and my computer um, taking care of uh, patients on telehealth and telemedicine. And you know, the really neat thing about uh, this in the, in the face of all the difficult things is that we've really ramped up our capacity to do this. Um, just an amazing uh, leadership from the hospital. We'll talk to some of our hospital leadership next week about the, these initiatives. So today's session, we're going to do a few things, including, first of all, just give you a brief update on what's happening in the COVID-19 pandemic. We're going to hear some live music. We're going to have a conversation with who I think one of the inspirational people in New York City. And then we're going to have a cardio kickboxing class with one of my good uh, buddies. And that's the plan for today's uh, webinar. So as you know, if you've been following us, um, we've been trying to ramp up uh, offerings to keep people engaged. Um, so you're not just sitting around watching uh, cable news, feeling like you know everything is disastrous in the world. Yes, there's some problems, but we are going to get through this. And part of the way we're going to get through this is by keeping our community and keeping our education. So Tuesdays, we're doing a, a running medicine webinar series. Thursdays, tonight, we're doing a wellness series. Saturday mornings, I'm leading a Saturday morning sweat workout. Um, and then all of these workouts are posted on our calendar on our website. And then both on the HSS Health and on my Dr. Jordan Metzl Facebook page, we have all the previous webinars so you can watch the ones you might have missed. So we're really trying to keep people updated. Last night, we did a webinar on gymnastics with one of the US um, national team gymnasts here on the left. And we were talking about how this was like a normal position for her, but for everybody else, that was a pretty precarious place to be. So tonight's program, we're first going to meet Joe Brack. Joe's a New York City singer-songwriter um, who's just an awesome guy. We're going to uh, hear from him. Then we're going to meet Minda Dentler, who was the first female wheelchair athlete to complete the Ironman in Kona. And then we're going to take our class from Edom. And so with that, I um, want to just thank everybody for joining us tonight. And we are going to bring down Mr. Joe. Um, Joe, nice to yeah. see you, sir. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing awesome. So uh, I was uh, just listening to Joe on a Facebook Live the other day. I think you, you're doing that on Thursdays? Uh, Saturdays at 5 o'clock. Saturdays at 5. Yeah. Um, that's right, Saturdays at 5. And it was so, just, it, it felt so good to uh, hear some live music. And I sent you a note where I said, Joe, <laughs> um, and you can see Joe's a big biker and uh, normally would be out riding his bike about now, but um, yeah. he's really graciously been volunteered to sing us a couple songs tonight. Joe writes his own music and he performs and he's a really just not only a terrific guy, but a terrific talent. So Joe, thank you so much. I'm going to shut up and I'm going to turn it over to you, my friend. You got it. All right. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Hope everybody's doing okay out there. Um, just going to play you a couple tunes. I'm going to start off with one of mine and then we'll get into something I think everybody's going to know. <clears throat> Yeah. 
Amazing. That's a great tune. Love it. You wrote that yourself. What's that? You wrote that yourself, huh? Yeah. Beautiful music. Great. And and Joe, if people want to catch you, by the way, you're playing sun, Saturdays at five and they just go to Joe Brack on Yeah, Facebook? Joe Brack Music. I have a Facebook page for my music. It's Joe Brack Music. It's public. So you can just go on there. You could go there and like it and you'll get updates about what's going on and all of that fun stuff. I love yeah, it. It's been a great play. Just having everybody be able to get together in a place and communicate and kind of virtually bust each other's chops and see each other has been great. I thought I was doing it for everyone else and I enjoyed it so much. I can't wait to do it every time I'm doing it. So I'm, I'm always looking forward to it also. I love it. Weird thing though, getting used to playing and finishing a song to silence, standing by yourself in a room. That's been a, a little weird to get used to, but that's all right. All right, so I got one more to do here. Let's do it. Thank you. That was awesome, Joe. I'm clapping everybody out there. 
We're getting just tons of comments. Uh, virtual applause from Blaze. Denise is clapping. Uh, Helen is clapping. Um, everybody just loves it. So uh, right. thank you so much for you doing that. It. Thank we you. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna. So Joe, we'll see you on uh, Saturday at five on your channel, and um, I'll have, definitely have you back if you'll come back. We'd love yeah, to have you. Sure. You're awesome. Yep, happy to. And uh, thank you for that great tune, man. You got and it. Goes great tunes. I'll move you over to uh, attendee, so then you can, um, you can uh, get started on your jump squats. All right. Great. <laughs> all right. Thank you. All right. All right. It's now my pleasure to bring down into the conversation, uh, one of the truly inspiring people um, in that I know uh, who doesn't think she's so inspiring, which even makes her more inspiring, um, who is uh, Minda Dentler. Minda, welcome. Hi, thank you so much. So if you've been in any of our programs, our wellness programming over the years, um, anything like that, you've, you've, you've met Minda. Minda spoke at our wellness um, event a couple of years ago. And um, Minda, you know, people just can kind of see you from the neck up here. So they're like, well, why is this person on my screen? And why is she special? And she's special because of who she is, but she's also special because of what she's done. So uh, Minda is the first female athlete to finish the Ironman in Kona um, as a wheelchair athlete. And uh, I thought we might, you know, at this time when people are, you know, understandably just terrified and everybody's scared, um, and everybody's just so concerned about uh, what's happening with uh, themselves and their communities and everything. I thought your story might be really good to share with everybody. So if you don't mind, Minda, ju just uh, kind of let's start with small Minda, Minda and, uh, and start from there in terms of your story and uh, how you end up being you. Sure. Um, so I was born in India uh, in 1978. <laughs> At the time, my mother didn't have access to the vaccine. I had contracted polio at three months, and she made the difficult decision to uh, abandon me at uh, an orphanage. And so I spent a few years in the orphanage, and then I was eventually adopted by an American family, and I moved to Spokane, Washington uh, when I was three. So um, I should probably tell you about polio, what it is. It's a disease that um, it causes paralysis, it impacts your nervous system. And, and how it impacted me is that I am um, paralyzed from the hips down. And so uh, while in Spokane, that's where I grew up, I was able to get just a number of surgeries. I spent a lot of time in the hospital just to get my body to straighten out so I could walk with leg braces and crutches. And so you, you started, uh, you know, when you, so how old were you you got to Washington State? So I was three and a half. Three and a half, so a small mm -hmm. child. And 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 you, how many other brothers and sisters were in your family? So I have two um, two brothers, one who is also adopted. He's from Korea, mm -hmm. and then I have a sister who's the exact same age, exact mm -hmm. same age as me. Um, we're not twins. Um, she's the biological daughter of my parents. Yeah, and so going from that story to deciding you want to do the Ironman, which is the hardest endurance event in the world, um, is, a, is a pretty big leap. So take us through that. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is. Actually, you know what? My family is super athletic and um, I always participated from the sidelines. I never thought that uh, with my disability that I could be an athlete. And it wasn't until um, I had moved to New York City after graduating from college and I was introduced to Achilles International. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's an organization based out of New York City um, that, that introduces athletes with disabilities to running. And so running for me at the time was using a hand cycle. And um, I learned how to hand cycle. And then one year I, I watched a wheelchair athlete who's also a friend complete the New York City Triathlon. And I thought, wow, that was so cool. I want to do it too. And so the following year, um, this is at age 30 now, um, I signed up for the New York City Triathlon. And I also signed up for swimming lessons too, because I didn't know how to swim. <laughs> at all? No, no clue? No. Um, I swam in Asphalt Green. Uh, Neil Cook was my coach. He taught me how to at least 
um, get through a 20 minute swim in the Hudson River. I completed my first um, New York City triathlon and I was hooked. I loved it, even though it took like, I wanna say almost four hours to complete an Olympic distance triathlon. Um, I just wanted more. And so the next five years after that, I joined a triathlon club at Asphalt Green. That's actually where I met you. And um, I just surrounded myself with high performing athletes who were taking on longer distances. I hired a coach and I started doing more triathlons. Um, lots of it, it wasn't really fun. Um, it was a lot of work, but I really enjoyed just being around the community and that feeling of all the work that I had put in to be able to like finally cross that finish line. So in the past 12 years, I've actually completed probably like 35 triathlons, um, four Ironmans. And um, I think for me, why I decided to take on the Ironman World Championship, um, it wasn't, I wanted to show you that, you know, it was, it was kind of a leap for me to start from like zero being a, a an athlete starting as an adult to then deciding to take on an Ironman. And what it was, was I, I attended a camp for athletes with disabilities. And I met this guy who ended up being my mentor. His name is Jason Fowler. And he was an Ironman world champion in the hand cycle division. And he sort of put that bug in my ear to be like, hey, maybe you should try it too. And so I, I qualified when I was 35, actually 34, and I failed. I was so slow. I got kicked off the course um, for not making the individual time limits. And so what it did was it just really motivated me to, to figure out, okay, what can I do differently to be in the best position to finish it? And I was able to finish it in 2013. That's amazing. Mindy, what I thought we might do is I, from when you spoke at our wellness event, what I have all the speakers do is I have them send me some pictures and I put together a slide here. So I thought what I might do is pull up your slides and, okay. and we'll kind of look through those. Um, and let's see if I can find these here. Hold on a second. Uh, no, no. It was a good idea. Let me tell I got to find these suckers. Hold on one second. All right. Here they are. So Minda, can you see those on your screen? Yep, I can. Okay, good. So I am going to hopefully scroll through here. If this thing will let me, my computer's acting up a bit here. I guess you're only as good as your tech, unfortunately. Minda, can you still hear me or not? Yep, I can hear you. For some reason, I don't know why that's cranky, but it is. I'm going to give up on that, I think. But I had all of your pictures. Let's try one more time. Well, I can tell the audience yeah. what an Iron Man is. Yeah, so you can see, people can see on the left-hand side of this screen here anyway. Um, that's that's you in the, in the water. Yep. So tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so um, that was actually in Kona. So... Um, an Ironman distance triathlon is a 2.4 mile open water swim and 112 mile uh, bike ride. And then you complete a marathon after that. And so for me as a wheelchair athlete, um, it's always been difficult for me to make the swim and bike cutoff. So they have individual cutoff times um, for each of the disciplines. And so what you see in that picture there is me um, practicing for the swim in Kona. Um, so the next picture is me on the bike, I can see. Um, yep. So what is difficult, especially in Hawaii, um, it's the notorious, like, uh, the, it's the weather. It's like the heat, the humidity, the crosswinds. And so um, it's 
because I use a hand cycle, um, I am so low to the ground. A hand cycle is like a three wheeled recumbent bike. There we go. Um, I have, oh, there it is. I have um, like 30 something gears and um, you can see how far my back is laid back right there. You can see that, you know, I'm only like four inches to the ground. And then, um, you know, over the course of 112 miles, you can imagine it's pretty grueling out there because I, um, I can feel the heat of the asphalt emanating. Yeah. All right, let's look at this picture. So this <laughs> is an amazing picture. I love this picture. Yay! <laughs> That's me crossing the finish line. Um, yeah, like that was an incredible feeling um, getting on that to that marathon. Actually, you know what? I, I was the first person to make that swim bike cutoff time, um, and I only made it by three minutes. And so I was really excited because I knew that once I got onto the run, so I use a racing wheelchair to run and um, it doesn't have gears. I don't know if you, you've seen some of the marathon athletes, um, but you're basically hunched over in this position and then you're pushing using some gloves on, on these rims. And um, I remember coming down um, Ali'i Drive and um, my coach at the time, he was like, you know what, you gotta slow down once you get to Ali'i because you just gotta take it all in. And so that that's that's like the feeling of elation of making it. Yeah, finish line. you bet. I mean, I remember that myself having done this race, when you come around that corner and you see the lights and you're like, oh my God, I made it. I, it's like the most, it's a moment you will never forget in your whole life. And it just, you know, that look on your face was the look on my face, which is that, you know, I can do this and it's, yeah. it's, and awesome. it's a really special one. I love that look on your face. Did you think you would make it there or not? Um, I was, so I knew I was going to make it because um, running is, is a little bit faster for me because I have the three wheels and um, I just was so happy in that moment to get yeah. it done. Amazing. And then I love this is my favorite slide of everything. So tell us what this is. So after crossing the finish line, um, actually, I, I want to tell a little story. So after crossing the finish line, I met one of my heroes um, the very next day at the award ceremony. Her name is Chrissy Wellington. Uh, she's like a four-time Ironman world champion. And she pretty much changed my life when she told me, Minda, you now have a platform. Go and use it. And so I ended up spending like the entire next year trying to figure out what she meant. And I slowly realized that I have a voice and that I should be able to use it to not only share my experiences as an athlete with a disability, but to use it for a higher cause. And to me, I've chosen to be a polio advocate. And so right here, I had the opportunity to, to yep. travel with Rotary International to vaccinate children in India. And this pick, and I know you're on a timer from the last time when we did this, which is what, but I love this. And this is. Minute I lose you. Minda's daughter see her it's just an incredible and, um, um but it's physical fitness um is a now? yeah i got you yep so that, 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 sorry there was a little our hss internet is having problems up here today for some reason um so that last picture of you and your daughter just is i think the my favorite yeah like she, it's really fun um now she's five and um she gets really excited about going to races with me um she actually i signed her up for a kids race once and and she can't stop talking about it. So um, hopefully she'll find her way in athletics. I love it. Now, Minda, you know, obviously your story is incredible at any time, but I think now just all about overcoming adversity and people yeah. overcoming adversity is part of what they're doing. I think it's especially important now. Um, and so just in terms of kind of viewing the, the trajectory of your life um, to this point, uh, in, in the middle of a very difficult situation where we are right now, what what message do you have for people who may be looking, kind of seeing your story and seeing where you are in terms of just overcoming really challenging situations? It seems like that's been a, 
a hallmark of, even though you didn't realize it at the time, you were just being you, but being you meant overcoming a lot of adversity. You know what? I mean, look, there's a lot of things going on right now. Um, and I think a couple of points I would make is, look, it's, it's, um, it's important to acknowledge, you know, what we're feeling. Um, having a disability for me um, growing up, I mean, there have been a lot of times where I didn't feel like I fit in or I had, um, I just had to do a lot of adapting to overcome whatever circumstances were around me just to be able to be successful. And one of the things that has really helped me, um, not only, you know, growing up, but now and especially as an athlete, but it's really applicable now is this idea of focusing on what you can control and just trying to let go of the things that you can't. And so um, like a good story in the lead up to my, my second time at Kona, um, I was working with a mental performance coach and he made me do this exercise where um, I had to write down on two columns, like what are the things that I can control and what are the things that I can't control? And what I learned after creating this list is that there's a ton of stuff that I couldn't control, like the heat, the humidity, crosswinds, all this stuff. And just like, you know, during this time in the virus, there's a lot of things that we just can't control. And so it's hard for us um, to worry about things that we can't do because that, that kind of creates some anxiety. So what we can do is control the things that we can't control. And what it is, is just how we're going to respond like including your attitude and your effort. So um, what I'm trying to do is, um, I guess, try to stay healthy and sane. Um, but, but what's been working for me is just keeping a regular like sleep schedule. Um, it's really important in recovery as an athlete, but I think now because it's sort of mentally taxing day in, day out, um, that's been really important. Um, exercise, um, it's been, my sanity. Um, I'm really fortunate. My husband and I, we were both able to work from home and my daughter's home with us and, you know, doing schoolwork and stuff, but we all have an opportunity to do some sort of physical activity. And, and to be honest, like I, it's like the one hour a day that I have for myself that I love. Like I'm either riding my bike indoors um, on a trainer, or I'm able to, to run with my racing wheelchair in Central Park. And the last thing that I think is really important, at least right now, is this idea of connecting with others. Um, it really fills me up, I think, you know, because we've been home a lot more than we've expected, um, at least for me. Um, so it's been really nice to be able to connect with family and friends, like on FaceTime or, you know, on the phone, like texting. And then even with my colleagues at work, like video conferencing to be able to, to talk with them and to connect or to bridge this distance that we have. So those are the things that have helped me um, stay sane and healthy during this time. Um, and these are things that we can all control um, in this environment for ourselves. I love that. That's like such a great message. And I really appreciate you always. And I appreciate you coming and sharing your energy and your story with everybody watching. And um, And I look forward to seeing you very soon in person. And just thank you for being you and uh, thank you for being here, Minda. Awesome, thank you for having me. Pleasure, bye-bye. Bye. All right, there we go, there we go, Edom. Hello, my buddy, I'm so happy to see you. So Edom and I have been friends for uh, uh, a number of years and um, He's a terrific guy. He is, uh, among other things, a great trainer. He's got a whole host of really devoted people to him. He has great energy uh, and takes care of so many people in terms of keeping them active and fit. So everybody stand up. And Edom is going to give us a little bit of a 20-minute cardio kickboxing special, um, which he we've done before. He's just an awesome resource and a great human. Edom, thank you so much for being here. Now you're on mute. Hold on. I got to unmute you, Edom. You're, you're on mute for some reason. Hold on. I think you muted yourself. Did, did, did you mute yourself? I feel like you muted yourself. We're having a little challenges tonight, more than normal. When I do these, from, I'm going to do these from, uh, from home from now on. 
Edom, is that better? That looks like better. Yeah. There we go. All right. Yeah, I'm doing these from home from now on. The work okay. computers uh, make it tough. All right, my buddy. All right. Get moving. You got it. Okay. So thanks for having me. Hi, everyone. So I'm going to take you through a little cardio kickboxing routine. Uh, what's been keeping me sane, just like Minda, is an hour or two of workout every day. I also work with Hunter College athletes, so I work out with them. Um, and it's been the thing that's kept me going. So I'm going to take you through a small cardio kickboxing routine. Uh, if you have any injuries, if you have any problems doing any routine, modify it for yourself. As you go along, I'll show you some modifications as well. All right, let's start moving. Let's move side to side. Take a step to one side, take a step to the other. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. From there, one knee up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, very gently, 5, 4, 3, 2, we're going to do the other side now, step, other side, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Now we're gonna kick it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Point out to the side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's get the heart rate up a little bit more by running in place. 10. Get the heels all the way up. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's get the arms involved in jacks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, we're going to continue to do jacks, but kick out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to use our arms now. Punch it out. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three. One more version of jacks up and sideways. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step, step. Step, step, step. Four more. Three, two, and one. Back to jacks. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Let's go down. Right here. Head up. Give me ten. Nine more. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, everybody. We're through the warm up, first part of the warm up. Now we're going to place our left foot forward. This is my left foot. We're going to turn, touch the floor, come all the way back up continuously. Two bounces, two bounces, and right back down. We're going to do that 10 times. Left foot in front in three, two, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, you need five jumping jacks, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful job, everybody. Catch your breath. 
We're going to do the same thing with the right side, the right foot in front. Right foot in front in three, two, let's turn. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Five jacks. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. We're going to kick forward with the left foot in three, two, let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Five jacks. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Catch a breath. We're going to do the same thing with the right side. And three, two, let's go. Up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Five jacks. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, guys. Run in place. Next move. We have the left foot in front. We're gonna step back, step forward, and kick. Step back, step forward, and kick. Let's do this five times. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, guys. We're going to put the right foot in front and do the same thing. Stepping back with the left, right here. Kick forward. There you go. Five, four, three, two. And one, five jacks, five, four, three, two, and one. Place the left foot in front again. This time, we're gonna take a step back with the right, kick with the left. Next one, we're gonna jump right here. Jump up, bring the right knee up and jump and kick with the left. If you can't do that, just a little skip and kick forward, all right? We're gonna do that five times. So step, first one is a kick, second one, we're jumping. Five, jump again. Four, jump again. Three, jump again. Two, jump again. And one, good, I'm gonna do it from the side. Right, so right foot in front, the side. We're stepping back with the left. Kick it forward first, second one is a jump. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, beautiful job. And Jax. All right, we're going to combine all of that in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Left foot in front. Follow me as best as you can. Everything that we've done, we're going to combine in 3, 2, let's go. Down, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, ten kicks, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ready, step, five, four, three, two, we're going to jump now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's mellow out a little bit. We're going to do the very same thing. So if you caught on the first time, we're going to do the very same thing on the other side. Right foot in front this time. Three, two, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 more, 3 for me, 2, let's kick, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, let's step, 5, 4, 3, Two, we're jumping now. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Beautiful job. 20, very nice. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, we're going to do all that again. But we're not going to take a break between the left foot forward and having the right foot forward. So when we're done with the left side, we're going to hold that foot up. We're going to switch and switch and switch. All right? That's between doing the movement on this side and doing the movement on that side. We're going to switch back and forth and go right to the other side. Left foot in front. Sequence all over again. In three, two, let's go. Ooh. Ten, nine, eight, seven. That's it. Six. Beautiful. Five, Woo. four, three, two, and one. Ten kicks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Step back, kick up. Four, three, two. We're gonna jump this time. Five, four, three, two. Hold the left foot up and switch. Five, switch, four, switch, three, switch, two. Switch and one. Right foot forward now. In three, two, let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. One more. Three more. Two more. Ten kicks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and step. Woo. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's jump now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Jacks. Beautiful job, everybody. Five, four, three, two. Let's kick with it. Up. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's punch out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, up and sideways. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step in place, nice and easy. Catch your breath a little bit. Now we're gonna do four jacks, lifting your arms straight up and down, and then we're gonna do four touchdown squats. I'll demonstrate. One, two, three, and four. One, two bounces, two, two bounces, three, two bounces, four, two bounces, and right back here. We're gonna do four sets of that, everybody. In five, four, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, one, two bounces, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Very nice. Two, very nice. Three, woo, four. Very good. One, two, three, four, one. Two times. Two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four. Down. Two times. Two. Three and four. Side to side, everybody. In five, four, three, two, and one. Left knee up. Five for me. Four for me. 
three for me, two for me, and one. Give me 10 fast knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Five jacks. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Right side also. 5, beautiful. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Just give me 10 fast ones. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Five jacks. Five, four, three, two, and one. Kick it up. Beautiful. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's put side to side. Woo. Four, three, two. We're going to stay right here. And then push 10 times. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 5 jacks. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Other side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Give me 10 jacks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, and one. Let's pick it up. We're gonna do our jumping jacks and drop down sequence one more time. Four jacks, four drop down squats, and five, four, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, and four, one, two bounces, two, two bounces, three, two bounces, four, two bounces, one, two, Three, four, down, two, four, six, that's eight bounces. One, two, three, four, down, down, two bounces, three, and four. One more time. One, two, three, four, let's go. Down, four, six, and eight. Beautiful job, guys. Run in place. Catch your breath. Four, three, two, and one. Now, let's do something with a little difficulty. Everything else is a piece of cake, right? If you can, you're going to go all the way down. Switch, switch, and kick forward. We're going to do that 10 times on one side. If you can't go all the way down, one foot in front. One, two, kick forward. One, two, kick forward. Let's start. In five, four, three, two, let's go. One, two, kick, bring it down. One, two, two, bring it down. One, two, three, bring it down. One, two, four, bring it down. One, two, halfway through. One, two, six, down, two, seven, down, two. Eight, down, two. One more, down, two. And up, give me five, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, guys. Run in place. We have to do the other side. We don't want to be lopsided. Other side, this will be the hardest thing we do today. So just get through it. Left foot back, and four, three, two, let's go. One, two, get. One, one, two, kick, two, one, two, kick, three, one, two, kick, that's four, one, two, kick, that's five, one, two, kick, that's six, one, two, kick, that's seven, one, two, kick, that's eight, one, two, kick, one more, one, two, and kick. Jacks. Beautiful, everybody. Well done. You should pat yourself on the back. In five, four, three, two, one. Kick it up for me. We're cooling down now. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. One more. 
Three more. Two more. And one. Let's punch it out now. Ten for me. Nine for me. Eight for me. Only seven more. You got six. Give me five. Four. Three. We have one more move. And one. Up oh, and sideways. You didn't forget, did you? Woo! Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Cooling down now. Nice and easy. Just like what we started with. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, guys. You remember all this. We did this in the very beginning. So what we warmed up with, we're cooling down with now. In five, four, three, two, and one. Arms right here. Sit. Hold it out. Side to side. Four, three, two. And one, all the way up, side bend. Four, three, two, one, other side. Four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands to your hips, turn the neck. Two, and one, go the other way. Four, three, two, and one. Let's do the hips. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go the other way. Four, Three, two, and one. Bring the feet together. Hands on the top of the knees. Turn the knees ever so gently. Four, three, two, and one. Go the other way. Four, three, two, and one. Bring your arms out to the sides. Take a deep breath in. And let out all that tiredness. Woo! Thank you for having me, everybody. Edom, you are an animal, man. That was awesome. These people are never going to talk to me again, but that was spectacular. What a great class. I Thank loved you it. Much. Thank you very much. Now I'm all sweaty. I'm My friends are all texting me, man. We're never talking to you again. That was awesome. <laughs> no, it was such a great job. Really, Thank really loved it. Much. Let me just hear some feedback from everybody. We're getting tons of comments pouring in here. Let's see. Um, thank you again. What a great workout. Good, good. Um, Mary says, thank you so much, Jennifer. This beats happy hour. Yeah, you better believe it does. Denise says, amazing. <laughs> Herbert says, love it. Thank you, uh, thank you. Kelly says, great. Uh, amazing workout says, Maria. Thank you. Mary Todd, thank you so much. Alyssa, thank you so much. Great workout. So thank you, thank listen, you. everybody, we love hearing your comments. Eat them. Thank you a ton. That was amazing. Thank you for having me. Uh, and everybody needs to know, body weight's a great workout, right? It is. It is. That's Best. where it all starts. The best. Yep. So everybody, listen, here's the schedule. Um, this Saturday, 10 a.m. is my Saturday morning sweat workout. Hope to see you guys there. Just sign up for that. And then next Tuesday, we have our running medicine webinar. Next Thursday is another wellness program. And then next Saturday morning at 9, I'm doing a lecture and workout. So got a lot coming up. Eden, we'll definitely have you back if you come back for us. You're the best. And can, people, can people train with you? Are you doing virtual training clients also? I am. I'm doing. So just reach out to me and I can uh, Perfect. connect me. Perfect. Good. Yeah. People end up looking like that. Jacked, man. You look great. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Good night right. and have a great All right, Hang in there. We're thinking about you. Bye-bye.